Hello everyone, this is Angela and I am back with another cleaning video. This time I'm going to show you all how I clean my drip pans on my stove. So let's get cleaning. Okay, you can use whatever kind of cleaner you want. I'm doing the easy off. And so what I do, just spray, and I just let it, you know, sit just for a little while to, lo to loosen up everything. I just spray it to loosen up everything. Saturated really, really good. Especially um, on the parts that are you know, like really tough. So, yeah, I get in there really good and get it good and clean. So, I let this sit on here maybe about 15 20 minutes, and then I start the cleaning, and I'll show you that when I come back. Okay, the Easy Off has soaked some, and I, as you can see, by me just rubbing my hand on it, it's coming up. So, I'm, I got the pemmish stone and this brush attached to it, but first I like to use just this sponge to really loosen everything up. Try to make sure all of that product, which is the easy off, is all over the pan. So, I'm going to remove all of that, all of that baked on stuff. We're going to get all of that off. And I'm using this this part of the, I guess the brush and pimmy stone, I'm using that part first. I'm going to use this part first and try to loosen up as much as I can. Now, I'm gonna take this pemmish stone, turn it around so you can see. You see all of this gunk on there? We're gonna get that off with this pemmish stone. I was just coming off. That's all you need. And we're going to do all of them just like that. Get all of that gunk off it. Because it's just baked on stuff. Baked on, caked on. Get as much as you need off and that's how we're gonna clean the drip pans and I forgot to tell y'all when the pemmish stone can't get up in between it make sure you use a spoon and see that spoon it get where the pemmish stone can't See how all of that gunk is just cut or coming up? Only thing you need is a spoon to get all that up. See how it's just coming up? See? All of that just lifting up. A spoon and some elbow grease. That's his all. Okay, I wanted to sh stop and show you all that I had to actually take the pima stone off because it was it's better for me to handle it the way it, just you know by itself. So I had to take it off 
but this is the first one I've done and it's still you know if I get down in there it's still a lot that I can actually go in but it looks so much better than it did before so I'm just gonna keep on moving on to the next because I do have that one to go and that one to go okay so yeah okay I finally got finished but I'm still still got some but when I tell you it looks a whole lot better than what it did in the beginning and the pimmer stone works so if you want to get your drip pans really nice and shiny just use a pimmer stone from anywhere Walmart oh why did I get I think no I got that from the Dollar Tree honey yeah the Dollar Tree so get you a pimmer stone and get in some elbow grease and get the stripping okay Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.